In today's lesson, we will go over torque specs. In particular, cam torque spec. To be more specific, the upper timing cam gear bolt. I believe it's a 3 8 grade 8 bolt. And uh, to bring it to a short answer, forge spec is 40 foot pounds. And they say to lock tight. They don't say what type, they just say lock tight. In general, when I've read that, it means blue. So, to sum up what happened, if you haven't been keeping up with the videos, driving home from the alignment shop slash glass shop, I had motor problems. I ended up bending the front intake valve on one and five. They both impacted. One bent visibly, the other one, not so much. Yeah. That's that new uh, Super Lean. I like to call that the Michael Jackson special. Anyways, so that happened. And at the time, we didn't know what it was, didn't know what caused it, and it only bent those two, which was the weird thing. Clearances were all checked. I checked clearances again this time, and just so it's recorded this time around, my clearance with a clay check. I don't have the spring compressor. I don't have the lightweight springs. I do have the dial gauge, I guess, to check it, but I don't have the springs or the spring compressor. So I did the clay check. Clay check without the gasket. So without gasket, I had 65 thousandths. The gasket is 40 thousandths compressed thickness. So I had a hundred and five thousandths of an inch clearance on my intake valves with the gasket. The requirement I think, or the recommended is like 80 thousandths. So I'm well within spec. I think the exhaust is a hundred thousandths clearance and my exhaust doesn't come even anywhere near the piston. So to shorten things up, got my heads back from the machine shop and we were setting valve lash or not valve lash, I guess setting preloads because they're hydraulic flat tappets and we get down to the last two valves adjusting and my buddy's rotating the crank for me while i'm setting them just to speed things up and he rotates and the cam does not move none of the lifters change like i'm watching the lifters go up and down as he rotates they just that last rotation nothing well first it actually stopped moving it bound and i was like what the heck i was like did I screw up and adjust one of these twice and double up the preload and now they're hitting piston. So I loosen them all up, try to rotate, still couldn't. So I'm like, all right, we got something with the timing. So I had them back it off. So it was at, wasn't in a bind and we pulled everything off, stripped the whole motor down. This was two days ago we started. She so pulled everything apart, got the water pump off, got the timing cover off and he's got the picture on his phone. I'll have him send it, I might insert it in the video later or something i don't know if i can do that after it's uploaded or not probably not but i might be able to set that as the i can set that as the thumbnail i guess but anyways the so my cam bolt had come out my little cotter pin key timing key that's five sixteenths of an inch rod it's about an uh, about an inch and a quarter long roughly it had like walked out some to the point of where it wasn't engaged in the camshaft anymore. And the cam timing gear was kind of cocked, or the bolt and washer was cocked like this. And it was bound up on that pin that's now riding on the face of the cam instead of in the little dowel hole. So it's holding it out, and that's what made it stop rotating the cam. So anyways, we pulled it apart. I know for a fact I torqued the bolt down with blue Loctite 40 foot-pounds. Did all this back when I assembled again. The washer that was on it was kind of, eh, did look like it wasn't factory. The bolt was a grade eight bolt. It looked factory. So, cut things short, went and picked up a new grade eight flange bolt. Also got a different washer that fit tighter and was larger diameter, so it covered over that dowel pin better. Not only that, I noticed that the dowel pin, whatever, that was in my cam was undersized. We did a little research and the years changed. Like, pre-73 was one length, post-73 was another length. It was enough to engage, but not enough for comfort. So we took a 5 16 grade eight bolt, cut it to size and 
it is was an exact machine fit pretty much so we put it in its place put the new grade 8 bolt on with some red loctite and according to my local machine shop that did the, the head adjustment or the head work he said he does all of his cam bolts for a small block forward at 45 foot pounds i was like done five pounds extra good it's not going to break the bolt i don't think it's going to hurt the cam steel cam it's not going to strip these threads and red loctite this time so this sucker better not back off this time around we i think have everything back together minus I need to hook up my exhaust down at the bottom of the downpipe. It's still kind of hanging there. So I'll bolt it up tomorrow. I still got to put coolant in it. I still have to, I primed it with the dish, the drill first, but I haven't done it since I hooked the turbo up. So I'm gonna dis disconnect my fuel relay and I'll turn the motor over, make sure I'm seeing fuel pressure on the gauge in the car. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna set timing as well so I can get my timing set to, for a base start. Cause right now it's just loose dizzy. So I'm gonna get it set back, but look how beautiful this new sensor is in this new location. The Dizzy can rotate now. It barely clears this damn uh, water outlet thing for the heater. But anyways, yeah, everything's back together and we're pretty much ready to fire it up. Tomorrow, like I said, the exhaust, some coolant and oil pressure check and ready to hit the road again. It's been been a little bit of a fight we've been out in here like every day after work for the past three days so been busting it so yeah we're uh we're good to go now i'm gonna come out here fire this bad boy up tomorrow at some point hopefully it's not storming we got another hurricane in the gulf so that's supposed to be starting tomorrow so if it's storming its ass off it may or may not get to take it for a little test spin but at least i can fire it up make sure it runs again fingers crossed Another good news that uh, I'll throw in the video, AGP sent me uh, an exhaust housing. It's in the mail. So I'll, uh, I'll get to work on that later on. I did pull the sway bar out, this meaty, chunky thing, because it was hitting on my bellows, which you can't really see that well, but it's right there where my fingertip is. Yeah, it was rubbing on those. So yeah, all right, guys, I'll uh, end the video here. Uh, next thing after fixing motor stuff, back to work on this door. That's a pain in the butt. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, maybe I'll have another running, maybe driving video for the next one. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing, etc. I don't know what it does for me other than looks pretty on, I guess, my channel. But nowhere where I'd, it's nowhere to where I'd get money for it. For YouTube so but anyways thanks for watching guys later